Um, good day, my name is Rael Mata from Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English. And today I will be discussing about patterns and reasons, not rules. And we have some topics, which is what is patterns and reasons? And why is it important to follow patterns in making a sentence? So let's proceed. Patterns and reasons. Grammar is uniformly meaningful and the meanings of grammatical forms are responsible for the patterns of those forms that are observed in usage. The second language teacher would benefit from knowing not just the patterns of the forms, but the meanings of the forms that are responsible for the, for the patterns. In this way, the teacher can guide the learner in making a choice that is felicitous whether it contributes in any given case to more frequent or a less frequent pattern. Within a pedagogical approach in which attention is paid to the grammatical form as a contributor to communication, teachers need to know not only patterns of usage, which combination of forms are frequent and which are infrequent, but also what grammatical meanings signaled by what grammatical forms are responsible for those patterns. The teacher's knowledge of usage-based tendencies, which when extremely strong have been called rules, can be helpful but uninformed by the causes behind the effects. Such as knowledge remains merely descriptive, not explanatory. It looks backward, summarizing a corpus rather than motivating production. Where such limited knowledge systematically builds error into production. Rather than providing guidance for choice, knowledge of patterns alone in effect preludes choice by implicitly prescribing across the board the more frequent combination of forms even when these are communicatively infelicitous. By contrast, analytic Analytical knowledge of the meanings of forms can consistently inform the choice of which form to use, regardless of how frequent a given combination may be, more linguistic research is needed to identify exactly what the grammatical forms are and what they mean. So for the importance of patterns, patterns can be understood as the way sentences are usually structured. It is important to learn the most common sentence pattern in English as most of the sentences you will hear, write, and speak will follow those basic patterns. The most basic sentence pattern is a noun followed by a verb. And that's all, thank you.